Now, I can take anything in life as the hero's journey overall. How does it apply? Well, as I said, anything you can view as a hero's journey. So I'm going to use this presentation as an example. This presentation, putting it on, was a hero's journey for me. So what we have, let me try this. Uh, there we go. Can everybody see that uh, little laser pointer? OK. So every hero's journey has, you start off in what's known as normal existence. There's a departure, an initiation, and a return stage. So normal existence for me was before I even thought of putting on this presentation. My life was a certain way. And then I had the thought, oh, I should put on this presentation. I should take my podcast and bring it out live. And that is the departure stage then. So there was a lot of preparation, a lot of getting ready, choosing where to hold it, getting people together to help me put this on. So that was all the departure stage. So the initiation stage was then when I'm fully committed to putting on the presentation. When I put out the money to, to, uh, to book this place, when everybody is on board, when the presentation is all put together on the computer, and even now, me up here. This is still the initiation stage. <laughs> I'm right in the middle of it at the moment. And at some point, there will be a return stage. When this presentation is done, I will then return back into a normal existence, but a normal existence that is new, that's different. It's been changed because there will be results, consequences that come out of putting on this presentation. So that is how the hero's journey can roughly apply to pretty much just about anything. And it can be in many different ways. You can be on a separate physical, mental, emotional, spiritual hero's journeys, and you can be on them all at the same time. Hopefully not. <laughs> That's a lot for anybody to handle. <laughs> but it can, it can happen. There's, there's various aspects. You're always working on yourself in different ways, different things. So.